Hey YouTube, we're here with the ASW28 Hobby King of Lentex RC. It's plugged in. Yes, I have my prop on in a dangerous fashion. I want to show you a problem with this plane. You already know from watching my videos. The prop spins free, which is not good. It is plugged in. When it's unplugged, it will almost have a braking effect neutrally. But of course, when you're flying, it's energized. Um, I'm hooked up to my slider switch on the side of my DX18 for throttle because of the camber setting for this being a glider. And I'm going to show you the instructions now. You can pause the video and follow along if you want. This is the book. I just printed it in a booklet format. It's like eight pages long. No big deal. Shows all sorts of settings. And I want to show you two details before we get on to the ESC programming. You can see I must add some problems here because I took and mounted a screw. If I could get the thing to focus here. I mounted a screw to help me pull these things out. And um, the other thing I did was I painted this on the uh, top side with a Rust-Oleum texturized plastic paint and then I remounted the dude in there or girl or whatever I'm just gonna call this thing Pat so anyway we got two screws holding Pat in there he or she uh, has a good time flying all right cool so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how this works I'm gonna demonstrate real quick the problem at hand Okay, throttle, and you shut off the throttle and the prop keeps moving. Doesn't seem like a big deal unless you've ever run a glider. It is a big deal. You lose lots of um, flying capability because this stupid thing doesn't fold. Okay, great. I'm going to show you how to fix that. It's very simple uh, once you get the right information in front of you. So just take my word for it when I tell you throttle up, throttle down. Okay, I'm not on this stick. No big deal. Don't worry about it. I have my camber controlled on that. And so it kind of complicates things. So we're just using this stick today. All right, unplug your battery. XT60 comes undone. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put this stick all the way up. In my case, I'm gonna put this stick all the way up. This is channel five in my case. It's wired into channel five of my receiver. Auxiliary, auxiliary five, channel 10. Power's plugged in. You're gonna wait for the beep beep, beep beep, beep beep. Here it comes. Da, 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 da. and then down with your stick now it's booting I need to unplug the battery and your brake set plug back in the battery already got my throttle stick low first thing you'll notice is that it's got resistance here throttle throttle see stops right away But that's what you want, guys, when you're talking about a glider. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to close out the video by panning over here and showing you the directions one more time. I don't care if you pause this thing and look at the directions that way. But either way, um, the information here. You guys can speed read this thing using your pause button. If you decide you want to go that route or you could just find it and download it but I'll just make it easier for you youtubers I don't know what all this means but yeah anyway pretty cool guys hoping that'll help a lot with the flight performance of this already really nice quality plane in my opinion thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe